The weekend's reputation is on the line. Tay McRae can do better. Halle Bailey takes her time. Don here, your pop culture boy. And for this video, I'll be reviewing some new tracks. Okay, Let's get into okay, it. Let's start with Tay McRae. She released a new track called It's Okay, I'm Okay. It seems like Tate McRae is gearing up to release maybe a new album or maybe a deluxe for her last project, Think Later, that was released in 2023. That album does have some good songs that I like, and I don't hate the project, but I have to admit, it is lacking in synergy in terms of a story, and not that it had to have a story, but I think that would have made the album, you know, a better listen. Like they threw a bunch of tracks and hope it made sense. Back to It's Okay, I'm Okay. Let's talk about the music video first. Now in the music video, it's most definitely her most risque yet. Booty on full display, also her titties were out as well, but they were blurred of course. It's a high performance type video, the choreography was very smooth, it's a mix of like Christina Aguilera and Michael Jackson, very clean and precise dance moves, I like the video. Now the song is about Tate's character moving on from a relationship, and while she's moving on, her ex new boo thing is kind of celebrating and trying to rub it in Tate's face. And Tate McRae is like, you think you won a prize? Just wait and see, he's all yours. Which is a fun and interesting concept, but unfortunately the song just plays on that one aspect from start to finish. It is similar to Sabrina Carpenter's Taste, but not comparable in the depth department. That track by Carpenter, takes you places while It's Okay I'm Okay takes you to a place in a non-adventurous way. Right now Pop is making a huge comeback in the quality department with acts such as again Sabrina Carpenter and with Chaperone inserting herself into the mix and I think Tate McRae, Ryan Tedder and the rest of her team of writers they need to bring their A game if she still wants to make an impression right now and keep that momentum because she had a huge year in 2023. For an artist of her stature but but yeah they can do better than this even if the song is just a buzz single because it does seem like just an advertisement for what's going to come next but they can still do better it doesn't have to be this vapid and one-dimensional now the next song is Because I Love You by Halle Bailey from the sister duo Chloe X Halle. And this song has been out for a minute now, but I didn't make a video or anything, so I want to talk about it in this one. First, I want to start off by saying I love this. I think it's great and the sound is unexpected in a good way. It gives the vibes of 2008's Bust Your Windows by R&B singer Jasmine Sullivan. Halle sings with a rapper flow that, I'm not gonna lie, it caught me off guard and it took me a second listen to actually get into it and I'm glad they made that creative choice. It gave the track added character because of how her flow exudes pure dominance, showing a part of her we've never seen. And I like that, because a lot of these artists, upcoming artists, you can't really tell who they are. They all want to be so overtly sexual. And look, letting us know that you know how to f*** is not a personality trait anymore. But yeah, with this track, we are seeing her personality come out a bit. In the song, she is expressing her deep love for her man. Low-key, she is obsessed on the track. And in the music video, I like how it tells a story. The part in the video where she hopped on the hood, you know, that part showed, you know, a goofy side, which is kind of missing. And, you know, it shows she's not really taking herself so serious, you know? I like that. I also like how they are managing Hallie's career. It doesn't seem to rush the pace that they're going at. It, you know, comes off very natural and authentic. Now, I did post on my community section when she dropped the track early last month, and some were saying that she will flop. And to that, I say it won't matter if she flop because the approach they are taking is not to force her on the public. And the focus is on the music and her finding an audience right now, organically. With this approach, she will be able to do her thing at her own time and pace. She is taking her time. She won't get there in a hurry. No one does. Look at her sister. Kind of unfortunate, but they are learning from the mistakes they made with her sister. And ensuring Hallie checks all the boxes before they give her that real push. Again, this song is great. Five stars. Matter of fact, ten stars. 
Now, before I get into this new The Weeknd song, Dancing in the Flames, The Weeknd's reputation hasn't been the same since his last LP, Don FM. I feel like GP at large didn't really like that album, and although I like that album, and I think it's one of his best concept-wise, like, in that regard, it's a masterpiece, but the replay value really wasn't there on Don FM. It's obvious he's one of those artists that can get carried away with their own work, thinking they have to uphold some kind of prestige type of image, but he got a bit carried away on Don FM. Like, it's super deep, but the element of fun wasn't all the way there. And the story it tells is a bit too large for an album, in my opinion. And I think the general public just couldn't get into that, you know, the message of purgatory and all of that. You know, at that time, people just didn't want to hear that album. And I think he buys into his persona of The Weeknd, a little bit too much, i.e. he was just smelling his own farts for too long in the Don FM era. The Weeknd has always made very hopeless, toxic, nihilistic music, but in a way where it can be consumed while understanding that, hey, this is some dark shit, but so infectious at the same time, like with his past works. The fact that Don FM is one of his lowest performing albums, I don't think he was happy about it, because what he did after that, he went into television and made that show The Idol, a series I enjoyed, but the public, oh my god, the public hated it. And it really bothered him, so much so, he was replying to the criticism on Twitter, which is understandable, but we the public never seen him in that light before. He high-key exposed himself, this man who sings about some hardcore things in the past with the persona of, like, I don't even know what to call The Weeknd because he is so mysterious, but the public saw through his facade of mystery, I don't give a fuck, I'm a rock star and I love taking drugs, but um, but um, Dancing in the Flames? is great and it's obviously gonna dominate the charts because he is the weekend and i think this upcoming album will be his make or break album to see if he still has it but that aside the song is incredible and i don't really have much to say he sounds insane on the record the production is out of this world it's exciting the production is full and there is this feel of triumph love and adventure and now i'm just waiting for the album Oh my god, and the music video was crazy. The quality, bruh. Jesus Christ. What do you think about these songs? And would you like for me to do more multiple track reviews? I'm Donnie Pop Culture Boy, and I will see you in the next one.